All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. All praises are, praises are due to Allah, who has guided us to Islam. We would not have been able to guide ourselves had not Allah Ta'ala guided us. All praises are due to Allah, who has revealed the, the scripture unto his servant and has made no crookedness therein. All praises are due to Allah, who has blessed us to celebrate a beautiful Eid beautiful people in beautiful places. All praises due to Allah is blessed, who has blessed us with safety and security. Alhamdulillah. All praises due to Allah who has blessed us with the Quran, who sends messages of guidance, of hope, of love to his beloved servants. May Allah make us amongst his beloved servants. Amongst the things that we have been enjoined to do, for which Allah promises His love, is working for this deen. If Allah has blessed us even in the smallest ways, just in the context of our being a neighbor, to our neighbors who might not be Muslim, to show them through our example the beauty of Islam, with an unspoken ways, maybe it's just pulling the garbage cans in when you know that the father is sick, the husband is sick, just grab the garbage cans. It might be just with a friendly warm greeting. It might be an occasional gift. Small ways where they can witness through us the beauty of Islam. Alhamdulillah, Allah has shown us through the example of the people of Gaza, and before them the people of Sham, or the people of Afghanistan, or the people of Iraq, or the people of Somalia, or the people of all of these places where these manufactured crises are vexing the Muslims, has shown us that you can invade and occupy a people's lands, but you can't invade and occupy their hearts. That you can kill a Muslim, but you can't kill Islam. That you can put all of the obstacles in the path of a people and freedom, but you can't put obstacles in the path of their will to be free. And through that example, people are becoming Muslims all over this world in waves and waves. The most famous example I can think of right here in this very masjid, where a young man walked all the way from Livermore, 13 years old, to this masjid, to bear witness there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And then walked all the way back, and is a strong, young, uh, intelligent, young servant of Allah, already making efforts to learn his deen, may Allah give him and all of the others, tawfiq. A lot of people, and I can understand the sentiment, are saying, you know, we shouldn't celebrate, eat, just have the prayer, don't have the games for the children, and don't have the, the, the sweets and the this and the that, because our brothers and sisters in Palestine, they're, they're suffering. I don't know if you noticed, they had Eid in Palestine, in Gaza. People were praying on the rubble. And with the little bit that they had, they were sharing it. And they were celebrating themselves. We always have something to celebrate as Muslims. Because we have Allah. We have Islam and we have the Qur'an. Allah Ta'ala addresses His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ أَثَلْ يَفْرَحُ هُوْ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Say, literally in the grace of Allah and in His mercy, let them rejoice. It is better than anything they can gather from the world. This address is not to the Muslims. It's to the people that will be lying the mission of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
It's for the people that were defending their idols and defending the erroneous ways of the ancestors. So the Prophet is instructed, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, قُلْ قُلْ يعني قُلْ لَهُمْ لِحَوْلَى الْمُشْرِكِينَ يَا مُحَمَّدْ بِفَطْلِ اللَّهِ وَفَطْلِ اللَّهِ the Mufassirin, the exegetes tell us, is Al-Islam. وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ and His mercy, Al-Qur'an. So he's saying, say to them, O Muhammad, they shouldn't be celebrating their idolatrous practice. They shouldn't be celebrating <clears throat> their enmity unto you. Let them come into Islam. And in Islam, and in the mercy of, the, of Allah manifest in Quran, that in this let them celebrate. It's better than anything they can gather from the world. My dear brothers and sisters, you can have the best house, the best car, the best yacht, the best condo, the best clothes, the best perfumes, the best of anything the world can offer you. And you don't have anything if you live this, leave this world and la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah is not in your heart. Kul bi fadlillah wa bi rahmatihi fa bi dhalika fal yafrahu huwa khayrun mimma yajma'un We should be celebrating the resiliency and the steadfastness of the people of Nasr. Their determination to hold on to Islam. Their, 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 their courage to walk into certain death. Men, the ambulance drivers, they know they're going, they're targeted and they're going to be killed. You might have seen a video, some of them joking about it. Two guys sitting in the front seat in an ambulance, we got to go get them guys. Uh, probably our last run. Okay, then let us celebrate. Bismillah. Because they understand something. Losing this world is not losing everything. Losing this world is opening the door to everything. Because what's in this world, including us, doesn't last. كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ Everything here is perishing. And when we die, the door is open to that which remains. كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَلَا يَبْقَى إِلَّا كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَبْقَ وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ And the, the wedge, all the Mufassirin, including Ibn Taymiyyah said that. So we could translate that, everything here is perishing, only Allah will remain. كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَبْقَ وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ And only your noble, the, your Lord, Allah, the possessor of all nobility, will remain. A power, majesty rather, the possessor of majesty and all nobility will remain. That's the reality, my dear brothers and sisters. And those who are wrapped up and absorbed with their dunya, and did everything, like these people murdering Muslims all over the globe, profit, profiting on the murder of Muslims. War is bad for business, unless you're in the business of war. If you're a bomb maker, the only way you can stay in business is using your bombs. That's one reason that the, the myth of the Muslim menace so-called Islamophobia is perpetuated. You have the boogeyman, Hamas, Saddam, Khomeini, Qaddafi, 
to use the bombs against. The Taliban to use the bombs against. But change is coming. Change is coming. You want to see indication of the change? Five Jumas. I remember when in MCC was in a storefront. A small fraction of this, this room. Right at the height of Islamophobia. Did it stop Islam? This, it didn't stop Islam. Look now. If you were here on the night of the Khat, Monday night, it was like Umrah. La illallah. Yuriduna li yutafi unur Allahi bi afwahihim. Wallahu mutammu nurihi. Walau kariha al kafirun. They want to put out the light of Allah blowing with their mouths with their speech and their propaganda and their lives, lies. And Allah is going to complete his religion even if those who reject it, despise it or hate it. So the question for us becomes, are we going to hold on? Or will we be those people Allah replaces? Are we going to be example for all those people coming into Islam? Are we going to organize ourselves so we can properly teach them? Are we going to get rid of all the petty nonsense that might deter people from Islam? Some of you know this story, we won't mention her name in Juma, the young TikTok lady sees the videos from Gaza, sees the faith, and so where's that coming from? They say they're Muslims. What's their book? The Quran. The lady buys a translation of the Quran, becomes totally captured by the Quran. Opens up a page, a TikTok page. I don't know what you call it. It wasn't a TikTok page, but can open some kind of room. And got 5,000 people reading Quran with her. Then she takes shahada. But you know what's sad? 5,000 people aren't Muslim looking for guidance and direction. Here come the Muslims. Oh, you know, you guys, be careful about them Shias. They're not real Muslims. Oh, be careful about those Sunnis. Uh, they, they don't respect Ali Bayt. Be careful about those Wahhabis. They're anthropomorphists. Be careful about those Sufis. They're grave worshipers. We can't receive people who are learning yearning and longing just for la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah we can't receive them with that nonsense we can't receive them with that pettiness we'll drive them away it's time for us to be a mature community a nurturing community a loving community an accepting community a tolerant community, a merciful community. People are suffering. People are suffering. Probably the biggest in this country right now, you know probably the biggest demographic coming into Islam? Young Jewish women. Young Jewish women. We know a lot and we have to stop here. We say this. If you want something to celebrate, Allah Ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ لِيَفْصُدُّوا عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ فَسَيُنْفِقُونَهَا ثُمَّ تَكُونُ عَلَيْهُ حَصْرًا ثُمَّ يُغْلَبُونَ وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى جَحَنَّمَ إِحْشَرُونَ Those who have rejected this, this deen are spending their money to turn people away from the path of Allah. And they will continue to spend it. Then it's going to be a source of great sadness. Wouldn't you be sad if you're spending billions of dollars to, to dis, discredit Islam, disfigure Islam, 
And then your very children out in the street protesting against you. Your very children are coming into Islam. Your very children are putting their lives on the line, stopping the traffic, occupying Congress, shutting down Grand Central Station. We're seeing miracles. We're seeing the Quran manifested before our very eyes. And some of us are depressed. قُلْ بِفُطْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ We rejoice in the gifts and the favors that Allah shows to us. What we don't rejoice in is the dunya. What the Qaloons people say to him, إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ قَوْمُهُ لَا تَفْرَحْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْفَرِحِينَ In Qaloon, what did he rejoice in? His house, his palace. So his people, they said, don't, don't rejoice in that. Don't give any meaning and significance to that. Allah doesn't love people who rejoice over that. So we know we don't rejoice over the dunya. We just say, Alhamdulillah, Hadam min fadli rabbi. We don't get obsessed because we know if we're obsessed with it, one day what might happen? Ma aghna anni maliya. Halak anni sultaniya. That wealth we might rejoice in, it benefits us in no way. Ma aghna anni maliya. The car is of no benefit now. You're so happy. If it got pollen, it's pollen season. You washed it every day. So the pollen wouldn't build up. Everyone could see the sign on it. It's no benefit. The car, the house, wanted everyone come over. When we're living in a little shack, we didn't invite anyone over. When we got the 4,000 square feet, everybody, every weekend, the party's at our house. The vicar's at our house. The house is going to be of no benefit. Kids doing bad, struggling, kind of keep them away from the other kids. Kids just finished Quran. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah, well that's Islam. We can't use that example. But you get the picture. They start messing up a little. Yeah, you kind of. ما أغنى عني ماليا حلك عني سلطانيا. Why? يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم. We all had it for a day. No amount of wealth or children. Are going to benefit us. MashaAllah, they finished Quran, Alhamdulillah. That's wonderful, that's beautiful. Especially in this, these circumstances. Allahu Akbar. It's not going to benefit us if our heart isn't right. Yawma la yanfru malu wa la banoon illa man ata Allah bi qalbin saleem. No amount of wealth or children will be of any benefit. Who will be benefited? The one who comes to you for Allah with an upright heart. And in this dunya, what rectifies our heart? Al-Islam wal Quran. Kul bi fadli Allahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bi dhalika fal yafrahu huwa khayrun mimma yajma'un. May Allah bless all of us to hold strong to our Islam. May Allah blesses all of us to give the Quran its right. If we don't understand it in, in Arabic, read it in English, read it in Spanish. Benefit from the understanding as you learn to read it in Arabic. May Allah bless us to be the people of, his, of true Islam, the people of prophetic Islam, the people who follow a prophet whose heart was wide enough to encompass the entire universe. May Allah make our hearts wide enough to encompass all those wonderful people coming into this deen. May Allah bless us and, and, and have mercy on us and elevate us and make us a shining example for not just the people of this land, for this world, bi